We're just nipping out to the auction um, as Pete won a, a small lot at the weekend with three or four items in nothing fantastic. On the way back, we're going to Falcon, which is this amazing, um, well, it's a continental store or an Asian supermarket, you might call it, in Nottingham. And um, we get a lot of our food from there. So we're going to pop in, get some lovely spices and some bits and bobs. And uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a shopping haul at the end. <laughs> Try one of those. Okay, um, see you in a bit. Just got into the car and it's absolutely freezing. Look at that. Point zero point five. Freezing. We're just gonna call in at Sainsbury's on the way. Get a new toaster. It's ours. Uh, <laughs> went home the other day with a big flash to be fair it is about well it was about 15 years old <laughs> and the rest so we've had really really good use out of it but uh, we do toast quite a few things so we can't do without one so we're gonna bob into Sainsbury's here make a quick detour and get a pint of milk as well while we're at it and no doubt we'll buy some other things as well Knowing us. Massive Sainsbury's. We go to this one because the aisles are so wide. It's a very, very big uh, store. For fat so, people. <laughs> no, it's not for fat people. So you can actually do your shopping without actually getting very close to anybody else. So it's uh, very good. It's a good, uh, good store. And uh, reasonably priced as well. Just getting to the auction now. Very, very busy down here. It's letting you go, it's letting you go, it's letting you go. It's actually overburdened with people, isn't it? One of our auctioneers here, Hetty, she's actually one of the um, experts on Antiques Road Trip now, so that's really nice. So here's the final haul that we got from Falcon today. We haven't got as much as usual. It was just a bit of a, a top-up shop. I got my husband the Santos Shah cookery book for Christmas, um, which is all about um, you know Nepalese food and it's got lots of Nepalese recipes in. So we've got one or two bits um, for recipes that are in that book. But um, I'll go through everything separately and uh, tell you what we've bought so here's the book that i bought my husband for christmas it's the santosh shah nepalese uh, recipe book he um, 
came second, I think, in one of the master the professional master chefs one year, and there's some absolutely amazing food in here. And uh, Pete's been really, really inspired because he, he does love to cook. So uh, some of the items we've got today are to go into recipes that are in this book here. So uh, what did we get? Um, the easy things first, the fresh items, which are ginger and garlic. We get through an awful, awful lot of ginger and garlic in this house. <laughs> oh dear, we do, we do. Um, and to go with that, we've got garlic paste and ginger paste. So if we run out of fresh, just to make sure that we don't run out of smellies, we've got the jars as well, which these are great and they're very convenient as well. If you, oh, this sounds awful, but if you can't be bothered chopping, uh, you know, garlic and ginger up, just use this. I mean, it is, it's, it's just as good really. Uh, it's not fresh, but you know, it tastes all right. We've got some um, jars of pickles, Lime chilli pickle, uh, aubergine pickle, which is lovely. You can actually buy this one in the supermarket as well as it's Patax. And I've got a Szechuan chutney. Not had this one before, but as it's a small jar, I'm guessing it's going to be quite hot, which is fine by me because I love chilies. I love anything with chilies. And um, even, the, you know, the really hot bulldog noodles, those really, really hot ones that you get people eating on YouTube and blowing their heads off. I love those. I can eat those. <laughs> no problem. So, um, right, this, this is not for um, the Santos recipes, but it's just to top up the store cupboard. Chinese five spice um, and panko breadcrumbs, self-explanatory, anything that needs breadcrumbs in or on, we use those. Now then, yellow mustard seeds. It says mustard bardo, crushed mustard seeds. Now one of these recipes asked for yellow mustard seeds. Now we, we usually buy black or brown mustard seeds. But, um, so the, these, are, these are actually new to us. But, you know, I'm presuming that they're just the same as the others with a different, slightly different flavour. Um, 400 grams there. These things that we buy in the packets, they're just, oh, incredible, incredible good value. Um, you know, you get these large packs. Uh, these, these are the puff dries, for example. Two for 250. Again, we've not used these before. Pete's got some of these recipes in this um, Santos Shah book which asks for puff rice. So this is going to be the first time we use this as well. But look how much you get for £2.50. It's quite remarkable, really. And the same is um, here. We've got um, Urid Dal, which is, I think they're about, oh, £3.50 each for a pack. And two for £4.99. Now, you will get loads and loads and loads and loads of meals out of one of these packs so you know if you're on a budget this sort of food is brilliant because you can make all sorts of doughs and breads and dals curry stews um also all, all sorts of things with, with lentils and um yeah super duper very very good value now these ones here uh, are new to us again um for the recipes in the book and it says ajwain seeds and then underneath carom seeds so i'm not 100 percent sure what they are but i'm presuming they're going to be some sort of flavoring some sort of spice or uh, i'm not sure i've not come across these before new to us and again something like that they're only about one pound fifty this, this um, supermarket that we go to, the prices are, are fantastic. So, right, um, £2.50. Very, very large bag of broken wheat, which I'm presuming is Bulgar wheat. 
Now we do eat a lot of bulgar wheat. Pete eats couscous quite a lot. I'm not so keen on couscous, I've got to be honest, but I do like um, bulgar wheat. So let's see, what does it, um, it doesn't actually say what type of wheat it is, but I'm presuming it's something like bulgar wheat. Then we've got a large rice flour. Again, something we've not used before. Pete's obviously bought it to make something out of the Santosh book. And um, I'm presuming you just do the same with this as you do with other flowers. Right, another large bag, coarse semolina. We use this for um, putting on the outsides of burgers and we also make up ma with it, uh, which is a fantastic recipe um, that, uh, oh God, it, it's just so delicious and it's got so few ingredients. It's very, very easy and it's a fantastic uh, food that I'm, I might actually do a video on making that as well later on because that is something we eat a lot of and you can put any vegetables, um, chilies in it, nuts and it's a very very easy to make um, dish and it's called upma so if you want to look that up on google and last but not least we've got some mustard oil this is very very fragrant when you put it in the pan sometimes we mix it with the sunflower oil but often when we're particularly doing Asian food we just use the mustard seed as the base must, uh, mustard, mustard oil and it smells amazing and it tastes brilliant so um, I, I haven't got the, um, the till receipt for all this but I reckon we spent about £45 on all this you, would, you wouldn't believe how uh, good, good value good value it is for all this food and the stuff we've got here obviously can be mixed together in loads and loads of different recipes. So um, that's, that's the haul for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up. Please put some comments below. I would really appreciate that. And I um, hope you have a nice day. And I hope it's warmer where you are than where I am. Because once again, I am freezing. Speak to you next time.